Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. In this short lab, we will connect to R1 via the console port and configure usernames and passwords. Particularly, it's important to know whether usernames and passwords are case sensitive, so we'll experiment with that in this lab. Try to complete the lab on your own first, then continue watching this video if you have trouble or watch it after to check your solution. Step one is to use PC1 to access R1 via the console port. PC1 is already connected to R1's console port, so let's click on PC1, then click Desktop and Terminal. Accept the default configurations here, and now we're on R1. Next is to create two users on R1. CCNA in lowercase letters, with the password Cisco in lowercase letters, and CCNP in lowercase, with the password Cisco in uppercase. So let's go to global config mode. Enable conf t. You can create users with this command. Username, CCNA, password, Cisco. That's it. Now let's create the second user. Username CCNP, password Cisco, with Cisco being in uppercase this time. Now, if we log out of the router and then access it again, we still won't be asked to use a username and password. We have to tell the console port to require a username and password. So let's do that. Line console zero. If you remember, when we configured the line password on the console, we used the command login to make it required to access the console port. This time, however, we want to instruct the router to use the local user database instead. That is done with this command, login local. So that's step two and step three. Step four is to log out of the router and log in again with each account. We're going to test whether or not the usernames and passwords are case sensitive. So I'll type end to return to privileged exec mode and then log out. Let's try the CCNA user with the password Cisco in lowercase as we configured. It works. Let's log out again. Now I'll try the username in all caps with the password in lowercase again. As you can see, it lets us log in. So the username is not case sensitive. Now let's check the password. I'll use the CCNA username again. Doesn't matter if you type in lowercase or uppercase, but this time I'll type the password in all caps. Although you can't see the characters as I type. It fails. I'll try again in case I hit a wrong key. Doesn't work. So the password is case sensitive. Let's quickly try again with the CCNP username again to confirm. I'll type the username alternating upper and lowercase just to prove the point, and I'll type the correct password, which is all uppercase. It works. Log out again. This time I'll type the password in lowercase doesn't work. So to summarize, usernames are not case sensitive, but passwords are case sensitive. Next, I'll do one more demonstration, even though this isn't part of the lab. Let me log in again, then enable show run. Look at the usernames and passwords here. We're going to add a new username CCNA with all capitals. If we are correct about usernames not being case sensitive, it should replace the current user rather than actually creating a new user. Conf t, username ccna, password router. Do show run. As you can see, it didn't actually create a new user. It still displays the username in lowercase, even though I typed it in uppercase, but the password is now router instead of Cisco. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin donations via the address in the description. I am also a brave verified publisher, 
and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.